welcome back welcome back to my youtube channel so um and on let's let's you know next let's know for our series we are going to be looking at integrals of periodic functions so we will be looking at series of integrals that are associated with periodic function and um and their equivalent values so this will need us to um to venture in a lot of integration and um which will not actually give us time for us to finish this finish the topic so i'm just going to be i'm just going to summarize each of them which are just basically definite integrals that all of us know on our o level it's just basic integration so which you can um figure out so um i'm going to be listing some standard integrals of periodic function which and their values which you should have up in your head then we, we venture into Fourier series so our first integral is um is the integral now you all know that periodic function um the 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 periodic the periodic function we're going to be working for for Fourier series is just two pi right we're going to be working um we're going to be making use of the range of two pi so and um on our basically on our integral on our integral in the on the integration of um of the functions we are going to be looking for or we are going to be associating ourselves for in Fourier series are uh, only going to be making use of the range of periods of two pi so what i mean is that we are going to be having a range of minus pi to pi or range of zero to two pi meaning that the the values of x will be bit will between um pi minus pi and pi in which if we calculate the range pi minus mi, pi minus minus pi which is two pi calculate the range here to two pi minus zero which is also two pi so the period we're going to be working for for Fourier series is two pi so all our integration which are mostly definite integral will be having a range of two pi so our first um, standard integration is integral coming from pi to pi. Either we use this or use this, but basically mostly we use this. So our first in um, integration is um, definitely limit of pi to two pi, right? And um, of the x. Now this integration is just basically integrating the x, which we can actually do. So integrating the x, now we all know that it's x, right? And applying our limits, which is minus pi to pi. So applying our limit, we have what? Pi minus minus pi, right? Which is equal to 2 pi. So this is the value for the integration of um, the x. So our standard, second standard um, it, um, integration uh, integral is um, integral coming from pi to pi of cos nx, where n, of course, nx, where n can be any value, right? So n can be any value. So... This when we when we integrate it using our normal or normal integration, the value is zero. So the integral went from integral coming from pi to pi of sine nx. Now integrating these two, our answer is what zero. Right. Then fourth one, um, we have integral coming from minus pi to pi of cos square nx dx. Remember, it's supposed to add the x here, the x here, because you're integrating with respect to x. So, of course, n squared dx. So, when I integrate this using my um, normal integration method, the value of this definite integral is um, also. But this is my normal integration form, which you can, you can also try out. Which you can try out. It's very, it's a very easy integration step. Just integrate this and apply your limit, and that's all. So, the value of this is pi. So my fourth standard um, integral for periodic function, in which it is integral coming from minus pi to pi of sine square nx dx. Now the value of this is also pi. So sixth one is um, integral integral coming from pi to pi of course mx 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 cos nx dx now this one is a little bit more tricky because it's not unlike the other ones in which you can just integrate this and uh, put your limit so in this case now you'll be expressing it in terms of trigonometric expansion now we all know that trigonometric um, um, expansion of we all know that expansion of cos cos m plus n x is equal to cos m x cos nx minus sine mx sine nx and then cos 
So we are going to use make use of two trigonometric trigonometric expansion so that when you add or subtract it, it will give you this value. So that value which you added or subtracted, that's what you use to integrate. So this is or cos m cos cos m minus n x can, can be written as cos m x cos n x plus sine m x sine n x. So when I so when I um when I add these together, I'm going to be having when I add these together, I'm going to be having two cos m x cos n x, right? And I add these together. So this is cos m plus n x plus cos m minus n x. So divide both sides by two, divide both sides by two. So my cos m x, right? Cos n x is equal to one over two cos m plus n x cos m minus n x. So now instead of me using instead of me integrating this, I will be integrating this. Which is, which is a more um, easier way to integrate. So the value of this will give me zero. So uh, seventh standard integ um, integral for periodic function, which is integral coming from pi minus pi to pi, of course, mx, now in this case of sine nx, right? Where m is not equal to n, right? So this also gives me zero. Let's look at a simpler way of expressing this my sixth integral. So now let's proceed. So now we said the integral. Now we said the integral comes from minus pi to pi of cos mx cos nx dx is equal to zero, right? So now there's a way of there's a way simpler way of, of expressing this. Now let's say the integral comes from minus pi to pi cos mx cos nx plus nx dx is equal to pi delta mn. Now this delta here is called a Kronecker delta. A Kronecker delta. Now I'm going to tell you what, what this means. Now we have the Kronecker delta imposes this condition. It imposes that the Kronecker, Kronecker delta is zero if m is not equal to n and is 1 if m is equal to n so this this is the, i prefer using this um value as a simple way of expressing this so when we have when m is equal to n this value here becomes pi that is we have integral coming from minus pi to pi cos m x cos n x dx is equal to pi if m is equal to n that is you can have m m or n n um that is that so or it becomes zero just like the one we have just like the way we we expressed it or it becomes zero if m is not equal to n so this also applies for the sine function too this is equal to pi delta or the chronic delta this condition too also applies for the sine function now this is pi if m is equal to n and is zero if m is not equal to n. So I prefer using these are the two last ones. We just it's not that they are, they are just they are still still the same um, old integral function. We just express them in a new way. So this is the term in terms of Kronecker delta. So um, having said that, this um, has really concluded the it's just a brief summary of uh, integrals integrals of periodic functions. So now we go to um, the main uh, main boss or uh, main topic which is for our series. So see you guys on the next video. Peace.